Good morning, no excuses. I know it's been a while since the last time I vlogged. Okay, I've been. Um, nothing's really happening here on Staten Island. But today, it's uh, July 3rd, and tomorrow is the 4th of July. So, uh, what I'm gonna do today um, some mileage. I don't know how much, but I'm going to take you to an old uh, training ground, okay, um, you know, across the state, New York to New Jersey, uh, through uh, Bayonne Bridge. So, uh, run with me today, it's some easy miles, not too much, I mean, <laughs> I can't run fast anymore, so. <laughs> All my runs now are easy, okay? Just doing this for fitness and, uh, you know, due to uh, some foot uh, injuries. So I, you know, keep moving and uh, still do my uh, daily run. I've not missing a day since January 1st. So far, so far. <laughs> so, uh, I thought, well, that'll be all right. Hopefully I could continue with this. All right. Let's start now. Okay. From here to the bridge, I checked the um, Google map. It says about two and, a, two and a half miles. And then we're gonna cross the bridge. Okay, that's about two miles crossing the bridge. All right, this is a busy street right here. So, all right, I gotta go. <laughs> it's always gotta be careful crossing this road here. So, you know, I like the Philippines when you run in the streets, you know, the vehicles, they usually, you know, try to avoid you and you know move around you but here you you become like a uh, I don't know like a target practice <laughs> a few times that happened to me I got hit by a car once crossing the street from a run or running and uh, there were a couple of times that uh, you know almost got hit by a car so it's uh, quite dangerous so here I run on the sidewalk just to be safe all right this is more like this is a, like a straight away I will take it to uh, to the bridge that's about Maybe two miles. Right, I'm approaching the Forest Avenue. That's another main road. So I got in about about two miles in from my house. So another half a mile to the bridge. Just gonna cross that road and take it to the bridge. I'm approaching the bridge. There it is. <laughs> OK. 
there. I'm right at the bottom of the bridge, the entrance. There it is. It's Frank. Oh. <laughs> how are you, Frank? Right, how are you? I'm good. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm vlogging. <laughs> so you don't mind if I include you in my vlog? No. Everybody will see this. The whole world. No. <laughs> you, you'll be famous. <laughs> this is Frank. Hello. I used to train him for the marathon. Yeah. Right. Marathons are over now. <laughs> so, so do I. I can't. Yeah, I, I'm done. I'm done. I, I'm done with my marathons. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Wow. Yeah, Frank. You know, he's. Uh, you'll never guess his age. He looks so young. But he's in his 70s. I don't know exactly. But he's, in his, he's there. But. Uh, you know, I train him for a couple of marathons. And uh, when he decided to uh, make a comeback after a long, many years of uh, not running a marathon. So he did good. So here I am on the bridge. We used to do this one. This was our uh, bread and butter long runs. So we start from the park from Clove Lake Park so that's about four and a half miles from here somewhat I know it's eight miles back and forth so uh, if you get a little extra you get more maybe nine or ten miles and what we used to do is we, when we get to the other side of the bridge we run to the park, another park, and then that will complete our 20 mile long runs. And that was the, that was like a bread and butter of the long, of a marathon training. But, uh, you know, this bridge was renovated and this is the first time I'm running this bridge since it got renovated a couple of years ago when it opened it was closed for a long time and they made it higher so what they did was completely uh, you know remove the old walkways roadways and replaced it and they made it higher so they extended up the reason for that they did a renovation is because that ships this is the main traffic for all the ships going out of the New York Harbor out to uh, Atlantic Ocean it's over there so they tried dredging it but the ships now are taller so they had to extend it get to make it higher so they could clear some of the ships so what it means is that this is like a big climb and run to the top to the crest of the bridge right here this is where this is New York and that's Jersey and further out there you see New York City so we're getting closer to Crescent's bridge it's tough it's a lot higher than before like I said I walked here before with my wife and I cycled here but running is harder this is a good place to do a hill repeats the 
look at this view. people who walk here okay there it is it's over there crossing the state line now without paying at all <laughs> you got a free ride here we go that's Staten Island my hometown since 1977 <laughs> that makes me old right and this is new jersey bayonne new jersey and if you look further out there that's new york city so we're not going there we're not going to new york city but we're here at the uh, boundary of new york and new jersey all right let's uh, how much do i have now uh all right 4.89 kilometers all right it's almost 5k from my house to here so it'll be 10k back and forth but i'm gonna continue running to the bottom of the bridge get some extra mileage back in the day that's this is like a short run <laughs> but for me today that's enough i'll take it all right no 20 milers just enjoying the day well the sun is out when i started it was cloudy but then the sun is out now Okay, you see this park here? Okay, this is, this is our 12 or 13 mile route. If you want to do half of the, uh, half a distance, semi long distance, this is where we go. We run from, we run to the bottom of the bridge, look down and around this park, all the way there to the end and back. And when you get to the end, you have to touch the wall otherwise your your run is not validated <laughs> that's a crazy thing about runners right okay so i'm not gonna go there today i think that's a little bit too much for me and i'm just gonna go to the bottom and come back all right see you at the bottom at the bottom now it seems like this, this side New Jersey is longer that's what I feel we'll see <laughs> when I come back <laughs> but I remember riding this riding the bike here I felt like coming back from New Jersey it's a little longer than coming from New York it's more steeper but that's the longer that makes it feel like steeper but yeah we will see okay, here it is okay approaching the the bottom of the bridge here we are welcome to new jersey bayonne bridge hudson county yeah, looks like there's a new building there being built over there that's nice all right so this is where, where we are in bayonne new jersey so if you watch soprano hbo a long time ago right this is the mafia view this is tony soprano's uh, you know territory in bayonne well 
per se. I don't know how true, but uh, they exist here. Okay. All right, there's a biker coming down. And I'm gonna head back to the, uh, back to Staten Island and we'll see. Let's see if, uh, if it's true, if it's longer. It feels longer. If it's shorter, uh, all the running up from uh, Staten Island, the stuff, but it seems like this is a longer uh, downhill. We see. Okay. Up, run. I finished my uh, bridge crossing. Okay, now I'm heading home. There. Okay, that's gonna be another. Uh, I think it was like 3k. Or a little bit more than 3k. Get back home.